long before we were born, honoring their service. The year 1964, 17 men lost their lives when two military planes, similar to this one here, a, a C-119 boxcar, collided in midair during a routine practice mission over the skies of Wilmington. This weekend, a historic marker was at long last dedicated at Denver Williams Park in Wilmington. And not on your sides, Jake Ryle actually spoke to one man who survived that horrible crash. They gather. Captain Robert L. Tamman. To remember. I was just amazed when I saw how many people were here. The lives lost all those years ago. When people find out, a lot of people have heard me tell the story about this, but I think when they would see all the names actually on there, to me, it's a little bit mind boggling to think that that many were gone in an instant, just like that. Each rose for one of the 11 officers and six enlisted men killed. Only two survived. It was hard to comprehend that we was actually when in an airplane crash. You know, that didn't register. 91-year-old Bill Zugelder, the lone man still alive from the accident, and he remembers. We were lead ship in a nine ship formation. There were three, three, and three. April 18th, 1964. Weather conditions were rough. And so he said, don't lose sight of that light. But that's too, at that point, we should have peeled off. But they didn't. His plane, along with another, collided in midair. I landed by a, a pig pen because I could hear the pigs rooting in the, in the feeder. And I could look over and see the burnage wreckage of the other airplane. His story, the reason so many have gathered, including these local retired Green Berets. All to see their brothers finally honored after more than half a century. Something that that I'm sure that the, the family and the field and the people in the county they can be proud of. A plaque will ensure the story is never forgotten. In Wilmington, Jake Ryle, 9 on your side.